Signet Cedars is a 24 bedded rehabilitation hospital for men with learning disabilities and behaviours that might challenge. Signet Cedars has been rated as an outstanding service by CQC. It's quite close to Birmingham City Centre in Bordesley Green. We have a good bus service here and it's in walking distance to local shops, local restaurants. The service users here use um, the local park, Ward End Park, for walking group. We have a local allotments in walking distance where the service users will grow vegetables and help maintain the allotment gardens there. They, the service users, they do have the diagnosis, my learning disability. We also do have other comorbid um, physical health conditions and other uh, diagnoses uh, regarding the mental health on top of my learning disability. The Signet Cedars has 24 bedrooms which are all have an ensuite. We have communal TV lounges where they hold meetings as well as sit and watch the TV. We have a gym here, uh, we also have a gym instructor that comes in and uses the gym and supports the guys here to uh, use the equipment correctly. We have a barber shop here at Cedars uh, where we have a barber come in and support the guys with their haircuts. We also have a games room um, with a PlayStation and a Nintendo. Outside we have a courtyard where the service users can socialise and play games such as badminton, basketball, football. So the multidisciplinary team consists of psychologists, doctors, nurses, support workers, occupational therapists and speech therapists. When the service users come here, we do have a period of assessment just to assess the mental state, what diagnosis they have got, whether they are, those are right or not, and we do to try to establish the diagnosis. We try to stabilize the, the service user's mental state. The psychology team at CEDARS aim to address the clinical and forensic risks of our individuals uh, by providing psychological interventions like CBT, DBT, uh, CFT, and trauma-focused CBT intervention plus a sex offender treatment program. And these interventions are done on a one-to-one -one and a group, uh, group level. Uh, the groups as such, what, what we do is like alcohol and substance misuse, anger management, and um, sometimes it can be anxiety man management also. Uh, but mostly, most of our interventions are one-to-one -one, um, because of the type of individuals we have here. I help support individuals to communicate. Um, I make information accessible so that they can make informed decisions about their care and treatment. I help staff to know how best to communicate with the individuals here. When the individuals arrive here, I assess them and then following that I provide them with the necessary treatment, so that might be group work, um, developing social skills, it might be one-to-one -one sessions um, on relationships, um, it might be one-to-one -one sessions giving them easy read resources and social stories to help them with new and complex information. So in the hospital we do, uh, we have a personal trainer that comes in, we have a tutor that does maths and English with the guys, we do a lot of arts and crafts, uh, we do textiles group, and we have a music therapy group. So in the community we do a range of activities such as volunteering at church once a week. There we do gardening and some litter picking to keep our local community er and area clean. We also go out to do fun activities like bowling, uh, we go to the cinemas, different coffee shops, go out for lunch and meals. So the aim of the service at Cedars is to help with the rehabilitation of the service users here to have a fulfilling and independent life in the community. For me each, each day is different at Cedars and um, the most thing which I enjoy is working with the great team at Cedars, the great MDT um, and it's because we all work at different levels, at different specialties, um, for the same goal, like a positive dis discharge for our individuals here at CEDES. What I most enjoy about the role is helping to develop the individual's social communication skills and then seeing them interact with each other and using those skills that they've developed. 
I find it quite satisfying when they don't really have a routine and then when they settle in, they sort of find their feet and they get a routine going. Um, I think that's one of the most key things um, here at our hospital. Getting people in a routine and having sort of structure helps quite a lot with mental health.